Hello, this is Melissa Cole, and you're listening to an Oshawa Museum podcast. This podcast series aims to actively promote awareness and appreciation of our community's history, highlighting remarkable artifacts, documents, photographs, or events from our past. We hope you enjoy the podcast. So what does a joy buzzer, a whoopee cushion, the chattering teeth, and the old, quote, fly in the ice cube have in common? They are novelty items. Throughout history, people have loved to play practical jokes on each other. From one of the earliest being the exploding cigar to the whoopee cushion, which is still funny today. Novelty items became a lucrative business in the 19th century and still are. In 2013, the museum received a large donation of items that once belonged to Gladys Muriel Mowbray, Adelaide McLaughlin's sister. This collection contained over 50 items that included a wedding dress, jewelry, shoes, hats, and many personal items, including a few novelty items that were practical jokes. At first I thought the one was a tin that resembled other tins that were already in the museum collection. So I inspected the items further and realized they were novelty items. This is something that I do not come across often in a donation to our museum. I wanted to find out a bit more about the two novelty items that were donated and to discover more about the history of practical jokes in general. The first novelty item is called Adam's Salted Mixed Nuts, also known as the Snake Nut Can. The Snake Nut Can is a practical joke device that closely resembles a can of nuts that contains a wire spring that's covered in cloth or vinyl. Some are even printed like snakeskin, but not this particular one, which actually leaps out of the can and can startle the unsuspecting victim. I have to say, this could have been me. I was very thankful to the donor who actually informed me of what the tin contained before I proceeded to open the tin of salted mixed nuts. On a side note, one of the reasons I always open the tins when a donation comes in is because quite often they are filled with little treasures that even the donor may not be aware of. The donor was kind and said, be careful when you open that can. The snake nut can was invented by Soren Sorensen Adams, who is also known as Sam Adams. He was the king of professional pranksters of the SS Adams Company. Adams' wife Emily had been complaining about the jam jar, saying that it wasn't working properly when it was closed or it was either too sticky. Adams was inspired by her nagging and then invented a spring snake, a coil of wire, wrapped in a cloth skin and compressed the two-foot snake into a little jam jar so that it would jump out when the lid was removed. The snake jam jar then evolved into the snake nut can. In 1928, SS Adams created the Joy Buzzer and in later years also sold the squirting nickel and fake plastic ice cubes with bugs in them. He was considered the industry leader in the field of practical jokes. After creating over 650 novelty joke items, He actively managed his company until the time he passed away in 1963 at the age of 84. The second item was called a new shaving kit with the headline, quote, what every man wants, no brush, no lather, no electricity. Around the edge of the lid are line drawings of assorted razors, but inside the box is a fake pocket knife, a few sticks of wood and wood shavings. It has a copyright of 1939, by H. Fish Love & Company of Chicago. Stamped lightly on the front is Souvenir of Wichita, Kansas. The back of the box is a mailer label with a place to and from and it could be mailed anywhere in the USA for only three cents. Wow, times have changed. The Howard Fish Love Company was known for their fake vomit called Whoops. The company manufactured 60,000 units per year. Practical jokes and novelty items have been making people laugh since the 19th century, and I'm sure these two novelty items highlighted here have provided you with some amusement today. This has been an Oshawa Museum podcast. I thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other historical video podcasts and subscribe to our channel. Stay well and stay safe.